the truth about your insecurities, the truth about my insecurities. See, we all have them, but some of us have less insecurity than others. Why? So let's break this down. When you're insecure about something, all right, me personally, at one point in my life, one point in my life, it was my calves and my finances, okay? And your insecurities come from not you not liking the, the truth, okay? Because insecurity is to, be, is to lack confidence. Having confidence is to believe and like the truth. What does that mean? So I'm not insecure about the way I look because the truth of the matter, the truth is I look good. I, I look good, I feel good. I've been putting in the work, right? If you feel insecure about your body, what's the truth? The truth is you don't like the way you look, right? And the truth, and the other truth is that you're not putting in the work. You see, when my finances weren't good, when my calves weren't, like there's still, I'm still a little insecure about my calves. I'm still working on them. But I'll tell you what though, the more work I put into my calves, especially when people nitpick at them, people was like, your calves, your calves, your calves. I'm like, I'm fucking working on them, right? So when, when you have these insecurities, what ends up happening, we, we, we tend to do other things that, that validate us. Example, when my finances weren't good, I would validate myself with lusting over women. I would sleep with different women. I would talk to different women, just constantly texting different girls because in my head, I'm like, you know what? Other guys have money, but you know what? I have two things that most guys want in life, a great body and women. So I would cope my, with my insecurity of finance, lack of finances with the lusting of women, you know, but that obviously wasn't healthy, right? And so we try to hide our insecurities. Same thing with my calves. I would wear really, really high socks. Ugh to hide that my ankles were, were things. And ultimately, it doesn't allow us to live life. Your insecurities are not letting you live life. Because in the back of your head, that's all you can think about, right? For me, that's all I kept thinking about. You know, I'm like, man, I'm like, are they looking at my calves? Are they looking at my calves? Oh, they're like, oh, he doesn't really work out legs, but I do work out legs. My quads are massive, but I swear it's my calves, right? So whatever it might be, we tell these stories in our heads. And it doesn't let us be free. Same thing with finances. Oh, I don't know if I can buy that right now. I want to go hang out with them, but my, I'm like, I'm not, my, my finances aren't good. So realize that in this life, we have, we're not that fucking different, okay? Some people would like their body. Some people don't like the way their bank account. Some people don't like their relationship. Like you can be insecure about being single. You can be insecure about being in your relationship. When I was in my relationship, I was insecure. I feel like I wasn't good enough, I, my, the way my girl acted, the way she was with other guys. So feeling insecure is a lack of confidence and, the, and lack of confidence comes from the truth not being what you want it to be. The truth is not, you don't like the truth. So what do we have to do? We have to, form, we have to start building a better truth. We have to be like, the truth can become better if we start being honest and then start doing the thing that, that allows the truth to be something we like. That's a mouthful. Example, I've been working my calves now, like been going heavier now, I changed things up and I'm starting to see them grow. I'm starting to see them like actually build up. I'm like, wow, like I feel so much better. Same thing with my finances. My, 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 my business is growing. I'm getting more clients, way more clients because what am I doing? I'm putting in the work. I'm talking to more people. I'm coaching more people. I'm giving more value. I'm doing all the things that I was avoiding to do. I was, I was avoiding talking to more people. I was okay posting content. I love posting content. But the truth of the matter is this. If I don't speak to someone and actually get to break down their problems and struggles and what I, how I can best help them and risk being said no to, because that's part of business, then I was never going to move forward, you know? But by doing that, my confidence has gone up. My quality of life has gone up. Same thing with my calves. I, I get to wear different shoes. I get to wear different shorts. They're, it's still there. I'm still working on it. But my friend... The truth, you don't like the truth. And as the, the minute you're honest with yourself and you start working on your, your, your insecurities, then you'll realize that you are, you, you were avoiding the thing that may, was gonna change your life ultimately. Because we're always trying to improve the quality of your life every day, right? So, and there's certain things you can't change. You know, I have some guys come to me like, hey, like I'm five seven or I'm five six, I'm five five, like I don't, I feel very insecure about my height. I'm like, 
look, uh, obviously when I was in middle school, like I wasn't five seven, I was probably like five three, five four. Like I was not that tall, right? Still not tall, right? But it never hindered me, and I never, ne I never felt insecure about my height. And here's why. Because I started working out at 12 years old. By the time I, by the time like eight months into being 12, like after I was, I started working out at 12, push-ups, pull-ups, and sit-ups. Right. I went to Columbia for three months. When I went to Columbia for three months, and all I did was train body weight, train, train for, for three months. Right. Number one, when I was oh, number two, when I was out there too, like the girls liked me. So I got a lot of validation from girls. I was working out and I was getting validation from girls. Like I was American. And, you know, if you go to Colombia, any other foreign country and you're American, not foreign, South America, you're, 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 you're not Hispanic. You're, I am Hispanic. You speak English. You're like, Oh my God, trophy validation from them. And they never care how tall I was. They liked the fact that I was good looking and things like that. And I'm going to say you, was, ugh, listen, if you struggle with your height, if you have insecurity about your height, understand you can't change that. God made you that way. You can't change that. But what you can do is everything else. You can improve everything else. I started getting bigger. But the minute I came back from Colombia, I had like I was getting like a four pack, six pack. My arms were a lot bigger. Like I just improved. Like I left at a certain weight and a certain image. Three months later, I came back. I looked better. So when people met me, they were like, "Oh, he's short." Like, like, damn, he's like, he's like. He's got muscles. He's like 12 years old, 13 years old. And that made, that kind of like snowballed the fact that I knew I could work on that. So I, that my confidence came from the, from working in the things that I could work on. Stop focusing on things you can't work on. It's, you're just wasting time. I say you can work on your body. You can, anybody can get shredded. Anybody. You can work on your career. Like what is that you want to do? You can always make money. You can always do something you enjoy. Something that lights you up. Me was coaching personal training. I like the fact of waking up and going to um, going to the gym and being able to help people. I my career like fired me up, and there's nothing more attractive and on, on a man like a girl finds nothing more attractive on a man than his drive. Like a lot of girls I was with, I never was financially good until like the past couple of years, the past year. But they didn't care. They would be around me, and my oh my energy was like man, this is infectious. Like. You give me energy. The best thing you can ever do is give someone a lot of energy. Like leave them feeling like motivated, driven. So work on the charisma. Have drive. And how do you have more drive? You get rid of the fucking alcohol. You get rid of the fucking drugs. You get rid of all this bullshit that slows you down. That makes you kind of take a, 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 a back seat. Like girls love a man with drive. Girls love a man that has a vision. Girls love a man like, man, this guy does not stop. Like you wake up at three or I didn't, and even back then I woke up at five, or, but I still hit the gym. I crushed the gym. I was full of life. Because when you work on your insecurities, the truth is now you have confidence because you've been putting in the work. The work is always going to be the answer. Action will always be the answer. So as soon as the video is done, go hit some burpees, four sets of 15. I don't care. Do take action. Trust me, it will change your life more than watching 10 YouTube videos. All right? Thank you for watching.